Hello everybody, it's uh, Rob Bonds again. Now I'm going to talk about technology and my feelings and experiences with it. Um, obviously tech has come a long way from being forced to use pen and the pad before that when you had to use gravel and stone, among other things. Um, technology has advanced so far beyond man's natural wiles and dreams. Me, myself, um, I don't indulge in all the other things that people normally indulge in, like I don't have social media platforms, I don't have Instagram, I don't have Facebook, I don't do uh, Twitter, none of that. I'm not, I'm just not comfortable with it because of how it can affect your possibility of getting a job because of what you post in your private time. But it's understandable because, you know, you probably represent some form of a company, agency, so on and so forth. So it's like I get it, but that was my reason for not indulging in it. The only um, web, uh, social media platform I even remotely indulge in is Google Plus. And that's just barely like I don't even I don't post. Um, I don't do it, do it because I know people get behind keyboards and they had this anonymity and they just become real tough, really opinionated, real nasty, evil and vile, and they get the they get to act out uh these fantasy and dreams of who they who they wish they were. They get real brave. It's like it's better than liquid courage because it's the person you you expressing these negative emotions to never pro well more likely than not never see you. And if they do, I'm not even gonna know it was you who said all those things. So that was like a big part of the reason why I don't even want to indulge in it because I just don't believe in it. I think that's a weak way to access this technology, which has vast amounts of information and knowledge and history and offers a unprecedented multitude of possibilities and all of these opportunities and all these different ways you can learn and make money and become knowledgeable and connect. I can appreciate things like, you know, like Skype for people to be able to keep in touch. Um, even though I don't engage in it much, I, I might have used FaceTime barely if, out of ever, but it's pretty good for people to keep in touch. I, I would encourage more people to use it, especially older people who have loved ones that they don't see. I see technology going into places where it's, un, it's also unprecedented. I don't, I don't know how to necessarily feel about it because I always already feel like it's intrusive, like this webcam I'm using right now. There's technology where it'll come on without you even knowing it. It could document your most private, intimate moments, secret or not. And once something goes on the web, despite what people think and how many times you hit the delete button, stays. Nothing ever goes. It might be hard to track, it might be hard to find. It never leaves, though. Um, like I said, I can, I can appreciate all the knowledge it, it provides me. I can't tell you how many articles and I've read, research or not, how many stories I've read. I don't mind the entertainment aspect on it for the most part, even though I think people use social media, uh, like social media or just the technology to make a fool of themselves, which is not always a bad thing, but more often than not it is. But it's also a way for the world to connect. Um, me, myself, I'm not the biggest fan of online classes. I've avoided taking them all of my, all my college uh, career, I guess you could say, my academic career, academia. Um, so this is a first experience for me. I'm just doing what I got to do to make the uh, the best grade possible and do my part. I prefer face-to-face -face inter interactions, no matter what. I guess I, I'm a little bit old school that way. I don't mind writing still, even though I don't mind. I like typing too while I'm at it, but I prefer face-to-face -face interaction, especially when it comes to college and professors and teachers, because it, it makes a lot is a lot more clarity in there. It leaves less room for error. Um, what I would personally like to see with maybe technology, mm, just more advancement so people can live longer, healthier, more enlightened lives. They could use it, utilize the technology for some uh, decent purpose, other than the the junk they use it for as is. And I hope to learn how to better utilize technology as it comes across from my field in social work. And I like to thank 
Professor Burley for op um, offering this opportunity, even if I'm not that used to technology or online classes or would prefer being in the classroom. Thank you so much. Peace and enlightenment, all.